we're going to be talking about the AeroPress Go, possibly the best camp coffee maker. Welcome back YouTube and welcome to another episode. Uh, we're doing something a little bit different tonight. Uh, we're actually at the drive-ins, Northfield drive-ins here in Massachusetts and in the back of the Jeep. Um, figured this is a good opportunity to review the AeroPress Go. Um, this is something uh, I really enjoyed. This is so versatile. I mean, I've taken this to work. Um, here we're here are the drive-ins right here. You can have great coffee no matter where you go. Um, and possibly this might be the best camp coffee maker I've come across both for weight and uh, results so um, My beautiful wife is behind me here um, Actually got this for me and because she's the best and she knows what I'm all about She got the AeroPress Go. This is actually the, the travel version. Um, so that's perfect for me. It's lighter so um, You know whenever I'm backpacking this is actually a great option. Uh, it's super basic basically a glorified French press but it has a filter um, and it's much much less acidic so I think it's the filter um, and the fact that it has a, a quicker brew time um, they say that it's supposed to be a ninth as acidic or something like that so basically uh, there's no acidity to it which is uh, really enjoyable but um, what you get there's instructions and uh, this is it this is the whole kit right here so um, as it is um, it's a little bit heavy for camping, um, but there's some things you can do that make it much better for backpacking. So what we're doing here, it's a great uh, go-to kit where it comes with, you know, the cup and everything. Um, let's see, it weighs about 330 grams. I, I weighed it out or 11.6 ounces, um, but you can actually get that down. Um, I'll show you in a bit how you can make that weigh much less for backpacking. Uh, so you get the, the top here comes off. They give you 300 and something filters, but this is just a small filter uh, case here. And so you can bring 20 or 30 with you, more than enough. Um, this is it in a nutshell right here. So the cup they give you, and, um, and here's the press right here. So very simple, like I said, like a French press. Um, you just put, you know, however many scoops here. They give you a, a measured scoop. They say to do one rounded scoop per um, espresso cup, so uh, they say it's a cup of coffee, but really it's just an espresso shot. One rounded cup of, um, measure of that. You put a single filter in here, screw that on, put your coffee in there, and then for one shot, fill it up to the one line with hot water, for two shots, two scoops, up to the second level for hot water, etc. And then you can mix it in with whatever you want after, whether it's hot water for um, Americano, if you wanna do milk, um, that's your, your uh, the choice is yours. So once you put it in there, they give you the stir stick too, and you mix it for about a minute as it steeps, and then you slowly, you put the plunger on top, and then you just slowly push down uh, to extract the coffee. So that's really it. Um, they say to use, you know, 170 to 180 degree water for uh, ideal brewing which basically means once it goes to a boil, let it sit for a minute or so. Um, I'm not going to come out here and, and put a thermometer in it, although, you know, true baristas probably would, but um, uh, I have never done that, and I've never had a bad cup of coffee from this, so. Um, like I was saying, you can actually really reduce the weight, though. So if you're backpacking, and you already have your cook kit here, there's really no reason to have this cup or this lid if you already have a spoon because you're backpacking something like this you can ditch the stir stick and what I do whenever I backpack anyways is I pre-measure everything out whether it's for Powerade mix or um, coffee uh, for instant espresso I've done in the past but you can really just measure out your ground separately put it in a plastic bag and you can really ditch this too so all your additional weight really is, is this, which you could even save the weight from that, and just put the filters in here, and only use what you're gonna use. 
Um, take out, you know, if you have three in here for three servings, take two, set them aside while you're brewing with the one. Um, and then this is the only added weight. So um, that I weighed is only 158 or so grams, 5.6 ounces, which in the world of backpacking is actually still super heavy. But um, as a luxury item, if you only have one or two things, I think that this is uh, this could be a great option. There's nothing better than having a great cup of coffee in the morning to boost morale. Um, if it's cold, you warm up. Uh, this is actually something that I, I do take with me from time to time. So this is great. So I brought with me, you know, my standard cook kit here, the Fancy Feast, a little heat alcohol, mini Bic lighter, and there's my 750 milliliter titanium toke spot. So I'll be making a cup of coffee here before the movie and uh, settling in. But, um, you know, let me know what you think in the comments below. Is this something that, uh, that could work for you guys on a backpacking trip? Uh, I think it's a great option. So this isn't an all-out review. Um, it's not really a full spec overview. Uh, I'm not really a specs guy, but um, there's not much to it either. So I guess as long as you know the weight and how it works, um, I guess what much, not much more to say than that anyways. But um, So we're going to make some coffee here, get set on the movie, and uh, I'll catch you in the next one.